Grumbling. I think it was mine. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Sailing Indiana. Good morning. <laughs> so we've got up nice and early, six o'clock, and we are about to embark on our first proper voyage, I suppose. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> so where are we going? Well, <clears throat> sorry, I'm a bit tired. Good start. I didn't sleep much because I was too nervous or excited. I um, slept so well and didn't even hear the alarm this morning. So good. Um, where are we going? We are heading to the Solent, which, if you aren't familiar with the UK and the southern coast, it is a little stretch of water pretty much in the middle of the UK on the south. And there's an island called the Isle of Wight, and it is some of the best sailing in the world. For two people that haven't got a clue what they're doing. But yeah, for two complete novices, yeah. it's going to be um, quite interesting. But initially, there's we've got like seven or eight hours to get down there. So we're up early, catch the tide, and hope for um, yeah some smooth sailing. Wish us luck. Stand by. Godspeed. <laughs> Welcome to Sailing Indiana. We are Lauren and Chris, and we've recently bought our first boat. This is a story of how we hope to swap a life in the city for a life at sea. Please like and subscribe, and welcome aboard. Steerage. We might get in there. You get the fender over here. Oh, I think we're good. Beautiful morning. 
good yeah surprisingly really good so just touch wood and you know stays that way yeah it's, um, yeah what a day what a day perfect day it's beautiful hello there just an update with how we're actually getting on sorry chris's head's actually like chopped off <laughs> i'm too short all right well we don't need to see him just see me um, we are finally making some good way. Brighton is way behind us now. We have had about seven, eight knots speed. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Um, loads of wind, which is good. Some good gusts. I think 15 knots, maybe. Um, so yeah, we've been going for an hour now and we need another hour of good tide and wind and then hopefully we'll make some good way. So we'll keep posted. How's it going? It's going good, yeah. Ooh. We've kind of got a few big rolling waves. Um, we're just spinning us a little bit. We've got a couple more just coming down. Um, so we're just kind of doing a few corrections as we go. Just trying not to get spun out into the wind and then it overpowers us a little bit. We kind of got enough sail out 
of the way we're going, but if we come up on the wind, then it, we're, we're overpowered. So we don't want to take in any sail yet because we think the wind's going to die off later. So we're, gonna, we're making good ground now with the anticipation that later on we might be uh, <laughs> later on we might be underpowered. So oh god. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, just an update on our navigation. We are currently here, and this is Selsey Bill. This is the Isle of Wight, and you can see our course to go through and up into uh, into Portsmouth, and we'll be staying at Gosport Marina, hopefully. So, yeah, we're, we're probably over halfway now. So we need to just, um, yeah, keep going, see how we get on. So we've turned the motor on. We knew that we would be battling against a little bit of tide when we got to Selsey Bill, um, because it just means that we battle it now, then we're gonna have the tide with us when we go up into Portsmouth, which is quite a small channel, quite a lot of water coming out of there. So you wanna catch that um, on the ebb. So we're just past Selsey Bill, which you can't see because it's, it's over there. Making good time. The wind, we've got wind, but it's, um, yeah, it's kind of only about 10 knots. We weren't making too much ground because of the tide as well. So yeah, engine on, and um, we're just gonna get to the next waypoint. And then we're gonna come up a little bit more north, northwest instead of just west for what we are doing now. So we'll see, that should um, give us a nice run. And then we'll just line up with the transit yeah. uh, into, uh, into Portsmouth Harbour. So probably, a few, oh, it's a few hours yet, but um, yeah, making good progress. And the sun's out. What a beautiful day to be sailing. territory so winter about us we're into the solar and now we just need to follow some um, some markers follow some channels and get to where we're going but the next, okay, Aurora, Coast over. <laughs> the next waypoint we get to we're then gonna have to turn up into the wind we've got the motor on now but we are still sailing as well motor sailing but at that point we're going to take the sails down because we'll be into the wind and then we'll just finish off our trip okay. Maydays is obviously something that's going on. I think it's between Cal and Livington. Livington. So, yeah, it's um, let's try and keep out of trouble. Yep. Over and out. Over and out. Okay, so we have made it to the channel, the approach up to Portsmouth, and the wind just started picking up towards the end there, and we were proper healing over, but nothing that the boat couldn't handle. Nope. A little bit more than we could, but it was fine. Um, <laughs> So now we have put the sails away as we are in the boat, you know, in the shipping channel. And I think we've got, yeah, a few nautical miles to go until we're there. Yeah, just keep an eye out. It's a busy channel. There's hundreds of boats out today. So um, it's good. It's good practice for us. 
but... I'm trying to remember the rules of the road. Yeah, but this will be the first time that we're entering a foreign marina, or not foreign, but a different marina. So, who knows, we're gonna call up Gosport Marina on the VHF, find out which berth they've got for us, and um, yeah, and then see which side we need to have fenders and lines. Yeah. Okay, we made it nine hours it's taken us to get from Brighton to Gosport. So nine hours. But Ugh. actually what an amazing sail. So we had really great winds. They were coming offshore, so it was pretty much on the beam the whole way. We were making seven or eight knots this morning for a couple of hours. We had the tide with us at that point. We knew the tide was gonna change halfway, which it did, and that did slow us down. Which, at which point the wind did die off as well in the middle. So we did switch the motor on, do a bit of motor sailing, but actually... We kept the sails out, it was okay. Yeah, we kept the sails <laughs> out. Yeah, we kept the sails out. Full sails. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, when we got in towards the Solent, past Celsi Bill, and then the wind did pick up quite a lot and um, 15, 20 knots, and we were um, bringing sails back in a little bit then, um, but making, yeah, seven knots again then, even with the sails brought in a little bit. So really really good learned so much what an experience um, oh my god so, so much we went from like literally popping out of brighton marina to yeah just doing a nine hour sail from brighton marina to gosport yeah, yeah it's just just leveled mad. up leveled up yeah, like in the sp yeah just space of a day so that's um yeah learned a lot and then coming into Portsmouth and um, up the channel there loads and loads of boats around ferries around yeah you did a good job and, you did a good and, job no, it was you know it, it was both of us like to be fair you know you can't do this sort of thing on your own it was both of us and um, yeah just really excited for the, this week away sailing we've got two nights here at Gosport and then yeah, thankfully we're not sailing tomorrow <laughs> yeah we are knackered now we'll have a sleep um we're gonna yeah have, a, have some dinner and then we're gonna have a sleep and explore tomorrow and then monday we'll be going off to Bewley to buckler's hard yeah um which is apparently stunning so we can't wait for that really excited cheers cheers <laughs> <laughs> I 
Ich möchte 